Strings are sequences of characters. We can write strings in a single, double or triple quote. And I'm gonna show you immediately what I mean. So this is a valid string. But also with a single quote it's a valid string and also in triple quotes we can uh, do a lot of uh, operations on string uh, we can assi assign strings to a variable and concatenate them using the plus sign uh, or use the format method um, to get a specific result from um, more strings like we did in the first example when we talk about the variables uh, so let's define a variable called name and we add to it my name as a string and now the string Fabio uh, uh, is stored inside the name variable and then we define another variable and we assign to it uh, the, the, the string developer. Now if we want to concatenate um, these two strings uh, we can uh, use the plus signs as I said. Uh, so sentence so we create a new a new variable that we that will store um, these two variable name and job and output a message so name plus we concatenate uh, another string here which is is a with the spaces plus again and then the other variable and now if we if we type the name of the variable we will see that it outputs this message Fabio is a developer. If we type the, the variable name we will see Fabio and if we type job no job we will see developer. We can <coughs> also use uh, a method called uh, format on strings And we do it like that. We use these curly brackets as a placeholder and the format method will accept as a parameter uh, the um, variable that we want to put inside this uh, at, instead of these uh, curly brackets. So we first type name and then a comma to separate the arguments of this method and then we type um, job and now the sentence as you will see will have will output this message like it did before so since we can assign to a, um, a variable a string we can also access single elements or part of the string uh, using the square brackets and the slice method. And so if we type a name, we still have inside it the string Fabio. So if I want to mm, get only the first letter of this uh, name variable, which is the F, I simply do it like that name and then zero because um, this sequence 
is uh, zero based which is which means that the first element of the string is zero then one two three and four and when i type name uh, zero between square brackets we get f as a single uh, string but we can also access a portion of the string using uh, this lies method uh, so we do it like that inside the square brackets we simply um, type the index so in this case this is the index of the element inside the string uh, so 2 which is 0 1 and 2 it's the b and then we follow with the semicolon uh, we will get all the remaining characters from the index 2 till the end of the string which is in this case bio and the same thing is valid if we do the opposite so we will get the uh, first two elements so from the uh, um, character at index 0 and character at index uh, 1 excluding the number 2 but we can also get a portion of the string like let's say we want a b and i we can do name square brackets 1 3 square brackets and a b we get instead i said we wanted a b i so i should say 4 a b i okay um, since I spoke about, um, I mentioned about uh, indexing, uh, we can get the position of an element inside the string, um, so a character inside the string, using the indexing method. And we can simply call this method after the name variable because it contains the string. So we say index and inside the parentheses we type the character that we want to find uh, the index of so in if i want to get the index of b i will type b inside the index uh, parentheses and i will get 2 which is the number uh, which is the index of this b character 0 is the f a is 1 and b is 2 strings are immutable which means we cannot replace its character unless we create a new string and i show you immediately what i mean so if we try to do name and then we grab the first character and we want to replace the f with a b we got a type error because this uh, item assignment is not supported by the language because it, this string is immutable but if we do um, if we do that in this way plus name one using the slice method and creating a new variable with the new name we will see that we have successfully changed its content um, so that's it for strings the next uh, thing that we will see are numbers